up all you sexy nerds, Grizzly McBee here, and I want to thank you for listening to and watching Nerd is New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. This is episode 159, I am joined today by the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, the gray, the double gray, the earphones gray, wildfire one. I think you're just making shit up now, but I'll, I'll accept man, myth, and legend. I, you know that that makes me feel good. Uh, but uh, yes, I am Wildfire One, and what do you say? He has to throw in the gray. Well, the gray I understand, but the double gray and your phone's gray. I think he's just on drugs. But uh, no, doctor won't give me any drugs. God damn it! I was hoping you'd share. So with us today also is. Monster 74. We're all here to talk about a game we all recently got kind of addicted to, where the topic tonight is going to be Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, it was recently free on on uh, PlayStation Network. Unfortunately, I don't think one of us got that memo and uh, had to buy it, but that's okay. No one's, no one's judging nobody here. Who bought it? Didn't you buy it? Me? No. Oh, then I'm... Grizz? I had it in my library. Oh, then I'm full of shit. I, no, we all we all got it for free. It was free, what, the month of January? February. Yeah, January. And we, we all got it, and we recently started playing it together, and it's a really fun game. Um, for being what it is, it's kind of addicting. Yeah. Very. So who wants to start on what we th- what your first thoughts of this game was? It, I'll tell you right now, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Well, my first thoughts of the game was I thought it was going to be some stupid B-rated game that didn't interest me whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Then these two guys were like, hey, you need to try this game out. So I played with them. Turns out I, I kind of liked the game. You're kind of addicted now, aren't you? Yeah. I bought all the DLC to it. That's for damn sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's kind of your MO. If you like something, <laughs> you're like... It's a good game. It's fun. Um, my first thoughts were more or less kind of what you thought. Um, I heard about it online from another server, another Discord server uh, from people that played it, and I, and they they wanted kind of wanted they were telling me about it. And I was like, uh, I don't know. This game kind of sounds stupid, but uh, you know. And then and then me and Grizz played it, and I was like, what the fuck? This is this is fun. Like. I can't stop. We couldn't stop playing it. We'd we'd be we'd start like at I'd say 10 p.m. at night. You know when we got some time, and next thing you know, we'd blink. It'd be like 7 a.m. in the morning. We I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Where did all the time go? We only did like three things. <laughs> so what was your first thought, Grizz? I'm just gonna say one thing about it. Carl, Carl for Carl, for Carl. That and I slapping. Who the hell Carl is? We're under the the thought that the developers of this game big into The Walking Dead. That's the only thing Carl. I can think of. <laughs> That's the only thing I think of for Carl. You know, like I don't, I can't think of anything else. Maybe there's some lore that we don't know. Like Carl was the best dwarf ever. I don't know. And maybe it's their god. I wish there was. I do wish that we could find some lore on this. I want to know who Carl is. Like why? Why he's such a big, important reference. But if it was a uh, Walking Dead thing, that would be fucking hilarious. Because again, the meme comes to mind where he's like, it's like season two or three where where you know uh, Rick's wife passes away and and he's like telling Carl a really bad joke. And it's always a really bad joke. And he's like, you know, the me. I'll probably pop a meme in here somewhere. But it's it's hilarious. <laughs> and that's what co- keeps coming to mind. So uh, what's the game about, Grizz? Carl, close friend who was on the team before we were. Okay. Well, he's the reason why they say no dwarf. No dwarf left behind? Hmm. Did they leave Carl? You know, it would be cool if we went to, like, one of the areas and we could see Carl's corpse or something. Or he's alive just fighting his ass off. 
Or maybe like a statue. Like there needs to be something that tells us who the fuck Carl is because if he's a hero, we need some we need some lore. You hear that, game developers? Give us some lore. They probably do on the deep dives. Yeah, maybe. We just haven't gotten to that yet. I know when I stream the game, there's a lot of people that love to watch us play. It's like people watch that just to fucking want to join. And, and you guys already know how I feel about that, but whatever. Um, don't play with randoms. We don't play with randoms. We learned that lesson. Baby girl of doom, I'll do anything. Love me. <laughs> Love me. I'm not going to be creepy, I swear. Baby girl of doom, you're a girl that plays video games. Honk, honk. Do yeah. I miss her being on with the games with us? Sometimes. Sometimes I miss her. Sometimes I don't miss her walking into the wall going, How do I play this game, guys? I don't understand. Okay, hit it R. Like you Warcraft. can't. This is not like World of Warcraft. Or, uh, oh yeah, we finally, we finally got past this specific, uh, this specific heist. And she's trying to <laughs> chop her. ever <laughs> again. <laughs> What do you play as on Deep Rock Galactic? Because all three of us have our own, like, special class that we chose. I play a yellow dwarf. He, who is the driller. He is the driller, yes. He plays the driller. And we, we kind of just guessed. We didn't really look into the, the characters or anything. We just kind of went, like, uh, this kind of this seems kind of fun. So he's a driller. And he's very important when we play because, of course, he drills to get deeper into certain areas that we go because you just using your fucking pickaxe is kind of a pain in the ass. Me and uh, Monster found that out when we tried to play without mm -hmm. Grizz. I have two gauntlets that are giant, like, drill bits. And I can easily go from rock wall to 100 yards in in, like, three seconds. Yeah, because of your... You're also because of you updating the character. Uh, but that was really cool. Yeah, upgrading everything. My character, I play the engineer... Which, like, if something is way the fuck up there, I can get you there with, I don't know, sticky wall stuff. With a platform gun. And uh, I just unlocked the machine gun, which is really cool. Uh, I got, uh, but the uh, the shotgun was my main weapon for a while, and that thing was fucking cool. Uh, Grizz's driller character uses, like, a flamethrower. And I think at this point right now, it's it's an ice thrower. Cryo cannon. Cryo. It's a cryo cannon, yeah. And then, uh, so since I'm, since he's a driller, I'm the uh, engineer. We got monster into this, and monster chose. I chose the gun. I got a big ass Gatling gun, and I can do a zip line from point A to point B and get you wherever you need to be. Which has kind of come in handy a few times already. Like, it's come in handy with I, those high, those high areas where we want to get back down. We don't have to go through like. A tunnel. I also throw out a shield to protect everybody from the enemies. And there's the there's is, is some shield right in front of where we're shooting. <laughs> <laughs> we can't kill the enemies. He's protecting them. But it, it's it's all about getting used to the game. But and I, I'm sure it took a while for Grizz to get used to using his drills in the game. Uh, so the basic premise of this game is you're you're finding ore. Danger, darkness, and dwarves. The three Ds. It's it's basically you're thrown on this planet or this area where you gotta go dig and get stuff. Sometimes sometimes you gotta just get regular old minerals. Sometimes you gotta like build stuff to get these liquid style mineral. Sometimes you gotta get like eggs. And there's of course sometimes a, a second objective to where you get more money or more you know, more experience and it very much yeah. plays like an RPG. It's very fun in that way. You can level up, and it, it only thing if I have a complaint, and you guys can tell me if you agree. Uh, my only complaint is that like to get into the really hardcore shit, you gotta be like f for your first actual promotion, you gotta be like level twenty five or something. Yeah, and that's kind of a you pain in the ass. That's not got a promotion. And it doesn't tell you either. We, were, Me and Grizz went into that shit, and one of the people from our chat told us. From the chat, from the, the stream. And I was like, we're like, oh yeah, 15, we're going to do it. 15, we're finally going to fucking do it. And then like, he's like, oh no, it's 25. Fuck. Why? Like, And I get that maybe that's probably the a, a base level to where she gets harder. But man, it's just... I that That's a lot of work. That's a lot of grinding. To get to the mm -hmm. deep dives, to get to like some of the good shit, um, I'm excited for it. But 
you know, and we're just finally, Grizz and I are finally starting to unlock the good stuff, uh, some of the good stuff. Uh, Monster, good Monster's still got to, he's still got to get past the, I don't know, I want to say the, the beginning levels. You know, it's hard to do single player after doing multiplayer because you don't get easy levels anymore. Oh, yeah, especially once we leveled up like we did. Um, one of the mechanics that I do like of the game is whenever you're at the main base, there's a bar, different alcohol, it can be mm-hmm. different things. There's one that you can buy for your for the crew that after you drink it, you freeze. Yeah. You break out of the ice. There's one that has uh, gunpowder in it, and it just fucking flings you all over the goddamn ship. All over the map. And there's other ones, of course, that will help you with, like, the game. Like, if you go into maps, you'll find more gold. You'll find more of this, that, and the other thing. Or your your axe, your pickaxe speed is, is faster. So that's a really cool mechanic. I'm glad you brought that up. Other aspects to the base, as it were. We got bored and... As we started do. make our own mini-games within the game. Wild and I spent almost two hours one night... Just finding different places on the ship to hide from Monster. <laughs> <laughs> to play our own game of hide and seek. Yeah. Monster and Sin Sandbox. When I first logged into the game, I didn't know anything. Anything. They're like, oh, come find me. Where the fuck is everything at? <laughs> what? How am I supposed to find you? I don't know where the fuck I'm at. Yeah. <laughs> but we're just like uh, excited, like, find me, he hiding in that's shit. That's what I found first. I found big old Grizz. You found big old Grizz. Well, Grizz hid in a spot that he thought was, and it was pretty, pretty witty. Like where I was at was probably you should, you should have found me first by all means because I was like, yeah. I'm gonna do an easy one, but you just didn't look up. <laughs> yeah, we're like we're on the first floor. Come find us. But technically, Grizz wasn't on the first floor. No, it was like in the basement. Where are you, Grizz? You cheating fuck. Then so then we, we one of the things that Grizz and I found in uh, Monster, you didn't get to see this. It's too bad you didn't, because you'd laugh your ass off. Is one of us started playing goalie for like the kick barrel game? Because <laughs> you can kick the barrel in the fucking in the in a little circle in it. You get points and stuff. So what <laughs> stat on it is was going back and forth and we're kicking it behind. Yeah, at the ring. And, it, and then an accident. I accidentally fell into it and died. And Grizz is like. You're dead? I said, yeah, I respawned back in the sick bay. <laughs> it's even said, Wildfire 1 died. And he, the next thing I know, Bling! he's right next to me because he had to do it too. Well, and then one of the um, the trophy achievements is while you're drunk from the beer to give yourself up as sacrifice into the goalie. Mm-hmm. Get drunk and then kill yourself. Which is hard as fuck. <laughs> Because you only got a That's certain amount of time. The alcohol that made you super short, you didn't have the jumping distance to get there. Dick. There's even like a little um, uh, jukebox in there which you can play music and your characters will do famous dances from other games. So, okay, well, Monster, what? Are, so you've played it with us, I want to say, maybe two nights. Do you have any, any favorite stories or anything thus far? Well, these guys, they don't even tell me the like the premise of the game they're like oh just join us just get in here i join oh yeah we were doing the we were doing the thing with the uh where we had to protect the drill dozer me not even know the controls i'm like okay so i jump on it and i start getting attacked they're like repair and i'm like how the fuck do i repair where (laughs) so i'm sitting there just shooting randomly not knowing fucking and then I don't know that you can run out of bullets. <laughs> I was like, call a fucking duty. <laughs> I'm like, hey guys, I got this Gatling gun. You learned real quick, <laughs> though, that we needed nitra. Yeah. Because we all ran out of bullets at one point. We were just hitting shit with our fucking... <laughs> with our, with our pickaxes. I was running around. We were get, we, so we got nitra and... <laughs> You learned real quick that that's important. Um, yeah, that was that was a hard first mission. I'm not gonna lie that we put him, we kind of put him through the ringer on that one. Oh, and Grizz saying, 
Oh, this is going to be an easy one. <laughs> easy my ass. It was the hardest one ever, we ever done. I don't know. The one that you and I did the last that last night that we did played that was pretty fucking difficult. Like, and I thought they were going to be easy. Those, yeah, some of those were pretty bad. I just, I just remember Grizzga or sorry, Monster going, "Fuck, I'm dead again!" And I'm like, "God damn it! I'm trying to find Nitra." So I had to go back and like bring him back. And then two seconds later, "Oh fuck, I'm dead again!" Because <laughs> Monster has this bad thing about like going right in the middle of where all the mon- the, the the bad guys are at and, and trying to be the hero, killing shit. And he's, I, I just like a mound of these fucking monsters on top of him. So I bring him back, and, and I mean, we ended up winning. It was, but it was a hard ass mission. Wild and I are on this mission for like an hour and a half. We finally find everything that we need to find. Oh God! We went to the drop ship, and I'm using my my drills going through this wall, and like 50 meters on the other side is where the drop ship is. We still got like three minutes. It'll take me 10 seconds to get through that wall. Next thing I know, we both fall about 19 million fucking meters, and we both die. Well. We decided to call it a night. <laughs> yeah, we were done at that point, because we had, like, we were about done with that mission, and, and then I, Grizz is like, uh, uh, he drilled way up there, and we're, like, on this edge. We're, like, doing our best to, like, hold on to the edge. And then all of a sudden I see, splat. And he's like fuck i'm dead i'm like oh okay how am i gonna get to you and i'm like trying to work it out i'm like okay i'm gonna dig down and i fell backwards and died too and i'm like oh well fuck we're dead that sucks yeah we're like fuck this nonsense like if we had a third player this would be easy but if we had a fourth player then maybe they could rescue me when i try to rescue you exactly (laughs) But there's a lot Good. of a lot of cool aspects about the game. We haven't gotten to the deep dives yet, so we can't talk to you about that. I'm excited to see what those are going to be. The fact that like the, the, there's different missions and different things, like it changes it up, so it's kind of the same thing, but it's not. Is a really cool concept. They, I, I, I do wish there was some lore in it, though. I do wish that it was a little bit more than like your dwarves. You're going down to these planets and you're you're digging whatever. Why are we doing that? Why are we what? What's the, you know, that'd be cool for some reasoning. But as a feel-good, fun-time game, mm-hmm. definitely an 8 out of 10. Oh, definitely. i say an 8, yeah. 8 out of 10. Eight in, it, it's not, it doesn't, it's a game that doesn't take itself too seriously. And then you got the higher up, like, stop that. Stop kicking shit into the ship. You know, stop, stop riding barrels. Stop kicking barrels into the launch pad. Fuck you, we do what we want. That's how we do. Take that barrel with you on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you can't take that with you. Yeah, it's hilarious. And and then there's and then there's like things like if if you reach a certain level, you unlock like different things in the uh, the Hall of Heroes or whatever you want to call it. Um, once you get like your first level up, you get a you, for that character you get like a, a statue of them, and I guess you can unlock like a gold statue or silver statue in the long run. And, and it's kind of cool. It gives you something to kind of want to kind of want to do if you're a collector in these games, or if you're or you're an achievement hunter, so to speak. Well, the first game with the first game with you was definitely an experience, and it wasn't like I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying it like here I am looking for Nitra, and I hear Grizzly going, "Ah, fuck, I'm dead!" And then I hear Monster going, "Oh, don't worry, I'll see. You. I'm dead too." And I'm like, "Fuck, now I gotta go all the way back, fight thousands of fucking creatures, and then like." save one of you so i save one of you and i I hear i hear grizzly go i save monster i hear grizzly going well it'd be nice if someone rescued me i hear monster going i'm just trying to save myself right now it was a really cool gameplay that me and and monster had recently and this this night was just full of fucked up stories um i'm talking about the last gameplay you and i did when uh it seemed like there was a never-ending supply of fucking monsters oh, coming at us yeah. this is the most this is the most of these fucking things i've ever seen in the game grizz at one point i turned around to get back to the drop ship and i shit you not there was like a hundred of these motherfuckers chasing monster holy shit you have a whole bunch of them after you get in here fucker oh 
Too much. That was a lot. Like it was a horror. It was a horror show, and we were just about out of ammo. Like we were. He kept dying. Like and it was. It was a bunch of the regular ones, and then there was the big motherfuckers, and then it was like yeah. it was. It's me. As we killed like five would. Five hundred more would appear. It was just a shit show. I'm surprised we beat that. That was. You know why? Why did we, we beat it? We didn't dangle the dice. Oh yeah, and that was the problem. We didn't. We didn't play with the dice. The dice is our lucky charm. That's the mission. I went. Yep. I'm gonna buy some shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's time. It's time to. It's time to get those perk points working, man. What was the best perk that you feel that you've got so far, Grizz? The best upgrade that I got was to my drill. Because now I could just drill like there's nobody's tomorrow. Oh yeah. I could, you're even complaining that you drill too fast sometimes. You know. Yeah, that's because like I'm trying to go straight, and the next thing I know, I'm fucking coming out right next to where I was because it just goes. One of the best perks that I've got, well, upgrades. One of the best upgrades I got were the um, was that was the gun that that makes the pillars, the um, platforms. The is the platform gun, and what it does is there's like a supposedly there's there it's an upgrade that basically keeps the monsters from getting to it like going to it's got like a repellent in it supposedly and it's it it really helps out when i'm on those things um what about you monster what would you say a good upgrade or the part that allows me to carry more ammo yeah you kept having trouble running out of ammo well who knows with a galley gun it goes by so fast yeah who would have thought that right i know uh wild really likes it i got satchel charges Oh yeah, those are fun because they put big ass holes in the ground. I'll tell you the one thing I don't like is you keep freezing me, you big fuck stick. Yeah, and he you do hey, it. For he does it purposely, that cocksucker. He goes, and we're like, "What the fuck is?" And you hear him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he giggles like fucking, <laughs> like fucking Jimmy My Bones. Boy. It's like Jimmy Bones. <laughs> it sounds something like that when he freezes us. You just hear it in the background. <laughs> but, like, that, so far, as far as, like, things that frustrate me, that's it. Like, friendly fire is a thing. <laughs> I remember Monster, what? You can, you can friendly fire? Because we're like, don't shoot us, fucker. You're killing us. Friendly fire is a thing? Yeah, bitch. It hurts. Because, <laughs> like, characters, your, even your characters would be like, hey, I'm on your side. You know, they'll say little things if you shoot a, if you shoot them. And one of the things yeah. I'm glad Grizz got is like this thing that like takes friendly fire down to fifty percent, where you don't take oh, that yeah. much damage. And now another thing I like about the freeze gun, as well as hating it, is that uh, the bigger creatures you can freeze them, and it take more damage when you shoot them. So you're supposed to shoot them in the butt, but when they're frozen, you can shoot them anywhere, and then they just break, which is fun. Yeah, it, it's a fun game. Uh, I would, if I could recommend it to people, I'd say yes. It's a good feel good game. It's got a really cool lot of like the only th- the one I don't there's what four there's there's the driller there's the um, engineer there's the gunner and then there's a scout right yeah. yeah the only one we haven't seen played yet is the scout and uh, you can choose these characters at any time the ones we just chose were the ones we're using now because we're trying to level them up uh, and leveling them up is kind of a lot of work <laughs> but as you heard us say um, but. I would like to see what the what the perks of the scout are. Like, it's a good first person shooter. It's got a lot of fun. It doesn't take itself too seriously. Um, it was a good free game for the month. Cause lately, the last few last few months, ha- like for the free games, have been kind of disappointing. Like that was a good game for January. The last few games, last few months lately, I think one of them was like Ark Survival, and Grizzly just bought it. That that was. The, I have that game too. I bought it. And I, I bought like, it too. Free now. I bought it too, and I was so pissed. Well, because we we paid full price, we paid like the full price for that game, and then Grizz, yep. I think Grizz got kind of at least a discount, kind of. Yeah, because I got it with the holiday special for ten yeah. bucks. But like the one of the recent games, I think it was this month, the, the March, it's right? Month. And yeah. it's free this month. Fuck you, PlayStation Network. Fuck you for that. It's not even that good, really, of a game. It's fun. It's just frustrating. 
It's very frustrating. Because you it doesn't like, teach you shit. It's almost like another game that didn't teach us shit. Conan? Conan. Yeah, Conan Exiles was we had to learn every we got we did a lot of good shit on Conan Exiles though. We had we will never play him ever again. Here's why. The three of us, as well as Baby Girl of Doom. Made a whole city, including a penis temple. Not just a whole city. We we made an empire. Yeah. We even went far north side of the map. Yeah. And created a kingdom just for me. Yeah. When we were all watching Game of Thrones. Yeah. And then a little thing called an update happened where they wiped their entire fucking server. And apparently, this next few updates they did after that, they did the same fucking thing. Fuck you, Conan nope. Exiles. We worked so hard. Who made this? Who made it? Fuck you, Deep Silver. Deep Silver. <sighs> we we worked so hard. Like we did a Game of Thrones theme. We did. It, we we like some of us went out of our way to make like places for people. Like Monster had like this. Was it what did did we make the bar for you? Yeah, we, we made a pool and everything. It was fucking amazing looking. And then we did like a whole kingdom for Grizz. Because Grizz is like, well, how come you get some bar and I get nothing? <laughs> like, well, hold, hold your tits, bitch. We're coming. We're doing this. And you see our other friends, Sunrise, little itty bitty. Well, it's because he played with us for like a whole day before he stopped. Like, we started raiding his shit. We started taking his shit. Because we needed stuff, and he so we had like this huge ass like community, and then across the way, like in this across this like on this island was this little hut. It was it said like sunrise whatever, and you know we had the penis temple, the temple of the peni, and, and baby girl of doom had her own house. I had a huge fucking mansion. She had like a temple. Uh, Grizz had a house that wouldn't stay together because we used too many. Uh, of the game's assets <laughs> it wouldn't remember like walls and shit in his house oh, yeah, with stairs and shit was always missing so they so that that's when we decided we're going to do it on another part of the map and uh that's when it worked and it was it was a good game but like they fucked us they fucked us and that's why we're not, we, we don't, i don't like playing those games that much anymore either we in and, and like you said with that particular game we had to learn how to do it and we went out of our way to learn, and then they upgraded every like they they updated everything and just pfft, everything was gone, uninstalled, never playing that again. Never played the game again. Bought all the DLC, never played the game again. Yeah, spent tens of dollars for crap I don't use. <laughs> tens of dollars. <laughs> and we got really into that game, so it's too bad. Uh, but you know what? Right now we're in a deep rock galactic. And that gets a thumbs up from us. The, but we like to build <laughs> stuff. We like to make things. We like to, to, to be creative. But when a game like fucks us. All three of us gave the game an 8, right? Yeah. So uh, I'd, I'd say for it's fun, worth playing. For the, fun. the fun factor. It's a feel good game. So uh, if anything we could say, guys, play it. Check it out for yourself. Uh, it's on a PlayStation Network. It's on Steam. <laughs> Grizz... We're getting close to the end of the season, right? Yeah. More to go. One more to go, and then it's going to be... Uh, we'll probably take our hiatus. We probably, probably won't see us for another year. But we'll still have stuff coming out on YouTube. Uh, but with that final episode, we're no longer going to be posting on Newgrounds. So we'll give Newgrounds a, a, a final goodbye on episode 160. Is there anything else you want to say, Grizz? There you go. Hello, friend. <laughs> Grizzly McBee here. If you'd like to call us and leave a message, there's a number you can call. It's 559 997 6803. Leave us a message. Tell us your name. <laughs> Tell us where you're from. If you're a minor, don't call. <laughs> That'll be really awkward. That was, that was Grizzly's sexy voice. I haven't heard him use that sexy voice 
since Doki Doki Literature Club. Hmm. When he was like... How's Monica treating you? Fuck you, Monica, you dumb bitch. (laughs) When he was like, real moments with Grizzly McBee. I went recently went down that rabbit hole again because I was showing a friend of mine uh, the gameplay, which she got really, really into, Grizz. She really watched all of your gameplay. Before we go any further, what I was thinking is I'd like to do that, like where you watch it and react to yourself reacting. Mm-hmm. That could be fun. What do you think? All right, guys, with that said and done, we're going to end the podcast. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Like we said, we got a, we got one more episode left to the hiatus. I am here with two crazy motherfuckers who one of them's looking really sexy after doing that sexy voice phone call thing. If you're a minor, don't call us. And uh, I got Monster over here laughing his ass off, which Jesus Christ, Chris, put that away. And that's not gonna that's not gonna go well for everyone listening. You should come watch. Instead of listen, you should come watch. <laughs> you can see us on, on Facebook. You can hear us on Anchor and all the beautiful things that come with anchor all right guys with that said and done we're gonna end the podcast we'll see you on the next episode which is going to be our final episode for season eight lots of gameplays lots of fun stuff on our youtube channel be sure to check us out remember to stay nerdy stay sexy always